I think the fact that we've grown from 18 to 81 venues in 21 years is our greatest success because I think it's proof that we're actually fulfilling a market need, that actually we're servicing a very important niche sector of the events market. And by that I mean we service, we service the uh, cater for the venues that really need the extra marketing push. The, the venues who are charities, the vast majority of our members are actually charities, um, and the events revenue that we drive into those venues actually goes to supporting their core business. Well, from tomorrow, we have a new marketing campaign. Most of it's going to be advertising online, really getting out the fact that Unique Venues of London, we've got a new brand, we've modernised, so um, that's going to be a lot of online advertising. I'm also really thrilled that for the first time we're actually uh, sponsoring the Rising Star Award at the upcoming Events Awards, so later on in the year, and there's a whole load of support that's going on around that. I think the biggest challenge we face as a whole industry is the lack or the perceived lack of um, a professional body. So by that I mean there are no standards that you can apply either to a venue or to an event professional. And I think there are now such a plethora of um, young people coming through the industry who've done event management degrees, it would be great if we were then able to offer them continual training in, in the workplace. Um, and they were able to then judge, I want to go and work for that venue because that's the three-star venue. And, we, and the industry then recognised that. And I think now there is a real need for that and certainly there's been moves with the launch of the Institute of Event Management just this week. I think there are moves afoot that in the next 21 years we should actually, we should see some professional body appear that we can all apply to both organisations and individuals. Um, in terms of where UVL is going, we've always, in terms of how we uh, assess our members and new members, we've always applied a certain level of uh, tested their professionalism, taken references and mystery shopped people, in fact they don't know that, but uh, tested them out <laughs> before they were allowed to become members. So we're doing our little bit, but I think the industry as a whole needs to come together with this and not just our sector also the festival sector because I think we can all learn from one another. In one word, unique.